Hey everyone, today I'm going to be making this interesting toaster phone charger. If you don't want to use it as a charger, you can just use it as a plain phone holder, but I think the charger makes it look more like an actual toaster. And this is my template I ended up sketching out and using for my toaster, and as you can see, I already made my cardboard cutouts for this. First, I'm going to start off by assembling my inside stand piece. I'm going to make two dotted lines in the center of this piece, which will be where my inside legs will end up standing. Trying my best to find the exact center, I'm now drawing a mini rectangle, which will be where I insert my charger. After I got this mini rectangle outlined, I used an X-Acto knife to cut this piece out. Now I'm hot gluing the two inside legs right on top of the dotted lines I made. This is going to be what my phone stands on. If you want, you can then try inserting your charger into the hole to make sure it fits. So after I finished my inside stand, I started modifying the entire middle piece that's going to go in the center of my toaster. For this entire middle piece, you have to use some thin, flexible cardboard because you'll be bending this piece later on. At this point, I'm trying to draw a long rectangle in the center of this piece, which is going to be the hole my phone is going to be standing in. On the left side of this piece, I'm drawing another smaller rectangle, which is going to be part of the control lever you'll see later on. Now, on the right side, I'm drawing on an extremely tiny rectangle, which will be where I insert my charger from the back of the toaster. Then, I use an X-Acto knife to cut out all the rectangles I just made. I'm going to glue on some metallic origami paper to cover up this entire middle piece. Honestly, using some sort of metallic paint probably would have been easier, but all I had was this origami paper, so it's what I'm using. I flip this piece over and use my X-Acto knife to cut lines on the paper that cover the rectangles. After this, you should get some flaps which you can then fold up and tape against the cardboard. So now I've completed making all the pieces I'll be needing to assemble my toaster. I'm going to start gluing the inside stand piece onto one side of my toaster. I'm then going to glue the inside stand to the remaining side. This part is a bit hard to explain, but I added some extra legs onto the inside legs I already had. I added these extra legs so they can prevent my phone from slipping and slanting all the way down. This next step is kind of frustrating at first, but section by section, I glued on my metallic middle piece onto the middle of the toaster. You just have to play around with it until you get this entire piece to stay like how you want it to. And you can see that I didn't glue it on perfectly, so I have a bit of excess cardboard sticking out. I'm going to use scissors to cut all this excess off.
For this part, you can just paint the sides of your toaster white, but I wanted to make my toaster look extra realistic, so I got some white rubber plastic from an iPad case and traced my toaster sides over it. So now I cut these side pieces out and glued them onto my toaster sides. Finally, I found a random small rectangle and glued it onto the top of the front rectangle to make it represent the toaster lever. To add on the charger, you just have to insert it from the tiny rectangle on the back of the toaster and then insert it into the other tiny rectangle on the inside stand. From the top, you can grab onto your charger and plug it into your phone. <laughs> 